If I had to choose one word to describe my college experience, it would be miserable. But don't worry, it gets better. talking about my experience in college at the Johns Hopkins University. For starters, my name is Chelsea. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm in my first year, first semester, and I started off the semester majoring in applied math, so if you hear anything bad, it probably has to do with that. But don't let this discourage you. I know a lot of people in the major who actually enjoy it, it's just not for me. But I am now a cognitive science major. Exciting. <laughs> I actually just switched my major a couple days ago. So like I said, everything that I'm talking about, it will be about my experience as an applied math major. Every time I tell people, or every time I told people I was an applied math major, they'll be like, oh, oh, you, you smart. It couldn't be me. I don't like math, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't like math either now. I should probably also say I kind of sabotage myself when I picked my schedule too because I picked a higher level of calculus than I should have because I was like, I can do this. And then I also picked an honors discrete math class instead of regular because again, I was like, I can do this. Then I was miserable, so. But let's get right into the video. As you can see, I've added chapters to the video so you can look at the different topics and questions and just skip to that if that's all you wanna see. Or you can just enjoy the ride with me and get the whole scoop. I recommend that option. So let's get into it. <laughs> so let's start with the first question. Do I like it? Now, yes and no. Could it be better? Yes. Would I transfer? No. It's a great school with great opportunities. I love everything academically. Like there's so much to do there. And I feel really confident that it's gonna help me get further in life. It's a great school overall, as you can see. It's like top 10 or whatever. Something slight, you know, just, you know, one of the best schools in the whole country. That's all. <laughs> So yeah, it's a really good school academically. Now, the only reason I would say no, and it's not like a hard no or anything like that. It's just like, there's some, you know, negative aspects. So that would just be like social life and then the amount of stress, but stress comes with success. No pain, no gain. And I'll get more into the social life and academics and all that. But this is just to answer the first question. <laughs> now, the next question is a question that I've seen a lot online, which is, are Hopkins students happy? Me personally? you see the smile on my face it's fake no <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> this is a genuine smile when i'm on campus i can be a little unhappy because of the amount of stress the workload is really heavy at times and the social life isn't the best either so it's like you know not a lot of great factors but i'm okay like you know it, it's life things happen. I feel like most college students are stressed. Now, as for Hawkins overall, I have heard that we are the top five most depressed student body in the nation. So, um, take that information how you want to, you know, <laughs> draw your own conclusions. But, um, everyone appears happy. You know, we're not like some depressed cult. Everyone just walks around crying with tears down their face 24 7. no <laughs> people are pretty positive on campus you'll hear about people's stress sometimes when you talk to them it's not a super negative environment where everyone's just you know sad and in tears now even though it is a pretty lighthearted atmosphere i'm not going to speak for each individual person because i cannot tell you that everyone on campus is happy when they say we're top five depressed I'm not going to dispute it because, you know, I've had my bouts. But moral of the story is we're okay overall. Emphasis on okay. I'm not going to tell you we're good because that might be a lie. <laughs> the next question is, is the school hard? Now, I think I kind of answered this in the other questions, but answer is yes. The workload can be pretty heavy. Now, one particular class stressed me all the way out. Other classes, I basically get one assignment per week which is great you know it's a hefty assignment but i have plenty of time to work on it so 
it's a-okay it's a lot of work but it gets done it's manageable now for one of my online classes we'd have a few quizzes each week because my teacher would assign us quizzes to make sure that we stay on track with the curriculum at first it looked really overwhelming but the quizzes for this particular class they're pretty easy because they're literally just to make sure you're staying on track so yeah it's gonna take some work to do well in your classes but we have plenty of support systems we have like a bunch of different types of tutoring groups you can go to office hours people are there to help you next question is do i sleep now surprisingly i do i'm i'm surprised like i didn't think i would get enough sleep the only time that i didn't get enough sleep was when i would stay up late to do assignments for this one particular class I would literally stay up all night. I would take a two hour nap the night that it was due and then wake up at like freaking 2, 3 a.m. and just stay up until 10 a.m. which is when the class started doing the work. And I still struggle with it. Like I'm working for seven hours straight doing the assignment and I still... Well, now you can see why I changed my major. But yeah, overall, I do get a good amount of sleep. And that's probably because I don't have classes really early. The earliest I started classes was 9 a.m., but I usually started at 10. So I could easily go to sleep at like 12, 1 o'clock, whatever, and still get plenty of sleep. On to the next question, which is what are the people like? So the people are pretty cool. I can vibe with any of them. There's really no negative vibes. I think the worst vibe I've caught on campus is from this boy who was acting like a know-it-all in class. He kept trying to talk over the teacher and like show that he knew his stuff, but it was funny because he got like half of the things he said wrong. It was pretty entertaining actually. But yeah, and that happened once. Like, I don't have that issue in any of my classes, really. So yeah, overall, people are pretty cool, and it's a collaborative environment. I haven't really seen the competitive environment yet. I've heard that it exists, though. But yeah, like, if an assignment's coming up, they'll be like, yeah, you guys want to discuss the questions and answers, or you guys want to study together. So yeah, people are, you know, solid pretty solid <laughs> as for dating because i know a lot of people want to know about this the dating scene at hopkins to me it seems pretty dead but i'm probably not the best source for this because i'm in a relationship for one <laughs> And then I don't have that many friends on campus, so um, I just might not be hearing about the dating scene very much. If you want to be friends, yeah. But from what I can see, it seems pretty dead. Like, I don't see much of anything happening. I know at some Ivies, they're like big on hookup culture and stuff like that. Hookup. <laughs> and I even have friends from other schools that'll be like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of sneaky links going on on my floor. It's ridiculous. You know what a sneaky link is. But as for Hopkins, I can't even imagine people doing that. Like, I haven't heard anything. But moral of the story is, if I were single, I would not expect to find my husband here. As for making friends, as you have heard, I haven't made many friends. <laughs> and I would say that's because I don't really vibe with the people on campus that much like we can have small talk but when i make small talk with these people i don't really feel a connection if that makes sense like i've gone to morgan and i've talked to people complete strangers i don't know just kind of like hopped in random conversation with them and i just feel like oh we could be friends like you seem pretty cool but that doesn't really happen to me at hopkins i don't know how to describe it really but i don't feel like i ever connect with people i feel like i just make a bunch of acquaintances everywhere i go well that's just me personally moral of the story is my social life clearly isn't very good on campus but that's probably because i haven't had much time to socialize in the first place i was always doing work always 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 doing work. now let's talk about racism have i experienced racism on campus no I haven't. <laughs> I have not experienced racism on campus. The closest that I've come to experiencing racism would probably just be people talking to me in a condescending way. I've caught that a few times. I can't say that it's 
racism clearly because it's like it's not like anybody's like you in murdered this that no no one's been racist to me at least to my knowledge i've just felt like people talk to me in a condescending way so yeah i personally do not feel like people are racist toward me in general if i were an incoming student of color i would not be worried about race we have a visitor that wants to be here for the remainder of the video well, maybe there's, maybe there's one question. Okay. And that question is about the safety on campus. I know that a lot of people are probably wondering, you know, since it's in Baltimore, Baltimore's scary, dangerous city. I'm sorry, that was <laughs> that was really mocking. But the reason why I'm joking about it is because campus life is pretty safe. It looks scary. Like when you walk through campus, it's dark. Like there's a lamppost <laughs> and they're all dim, but nothing, nothing to happen. I second that. I actually do not go to the library at night just because of how dark the campus is. But I do not feel like some random person is going to come in on campus and shoot me or anything like that the danger i would feel from campus is from the people on campus we have plenty of security around the campus it's pretty safe overall we have campus alerts which always update us on things that are going on around campus and i think the worst thing that has happened we've had a series of carjackings in like the beginning of the semester but that has stopped i assume that the people got arrested or caught whatever that's really the worst has happened i haven't heard gunshots on campus or anything i live in baltimore so you know i've heard gunshots before but never near campus it's actually the quietest it's been this is the quietest it's, it's, it's a freaky <laughs> it's a freaky silence on campus yeah like clearly i'm home now this is not my dorm and you may have heard in the video sirens but i don't really hear sirens much on campus this is great it's kind of weird because I go to Morgan, which is an eight minute drive. And it's complete opposite. <laughs> so Hopkins, it's like its own campus separate from the city. Morgan, on the other hand, is built into the city. When it's built into the city, you're gonna get city things. It's a private university. <laughs> so moral of the story is campus life is pretty safe. When they say it's a private school, it's really private. Like you're you're not gonna have issues with the city and the city's gun violence or whatever. Okay, so the next question is about Greek life on campus. Now, we do have Greek life on campus. We have a few D9s. We have other fraternities and sororities on campus as well. I know that I specifically was looking for D9 when I was searching for Greek life online. Greek life is very much present on campus. I will say it doesn't seem to be as active as other universities, like for example, Morgan. And Morgan is a party school, so you go to parties, you're going to see mm -hmm. We don't just party. We also end them books, okay? Okay. What I'm saying is, if you go to a Morgan party, you'll probably see D9s strolling. Um, we don't really have parties, and if we do, it's a frat party, not necessarily a D9 frat party. So you're not going to see much of that, but more of the story is, Greek life is active on campus, and you can get involved. Next question is about food on campus. I actually have a video reviewing the food on campus. I linked it down below if you want to look at it. But if you look at that video, you will see that the food on campus is not great. It is very bland. 90% of the time, it needs seasoning. Overall, it's just not that good. But by this point in the semester, I'm pretty used to it. I go there, I don't expect anything from them. I get the broccoli or whatever. And I take it back to my dorm and I add my seasoning to it. We do get dining dollars. So the food that you buy your dining dollars is usually much better. We have a place called Levering Hall, which is really only open for lunch on weekdays. It's open from 11 to 2 p.m. And I'll get sandwiches or you can get burgers, Mexican food. It's not really Mexican. And then they have a wok there too. The food is seasoned much better. It has much more flavor there if you want to get some better food. My personal recommendation is that you get the 14 meal plan and get the 400 dining dollars you'll be set. I don't even use all of my meal swipes, which isn't great. I probably should eat more. Moral of the story is the food from the dining halls is not good, but if you use your dining dollars, you'll be, you'll be pretty okay. And the last question of this video is, would I recommend Hopkins? 
And the answer is yes, of course, I would recommend Hawkins. Even though I have my issues with the social life, I still love it here. Everyone is pretty cool, even if I don't have like all the friends in the world. I feel like I can talk to anyone there just to like start a random conversation, which is great because some other schools, you just feel like people are against you or like they just don't want to talk to you. And I've never felt like that. And we have amazing resources. And then of course, you look on someone's resume and you see Hopkins on it. Come on now. I'm like, oh, she got some brain on her. So yeah, definitely recommend Hopkins. There's something for everyone, really. We have plenty of clubs, great opportunities, definitely the option to socialize. If I had to rate the school overall, I would say 7 out of 10 because it's still a really great school. Only thing that's taking off points is the social life. But we're going to fix that. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or any information you want to know about the school, whatever, college experience, it doesn't matter. Comment it down below. You can also email me, DM me on Instagram. I will answer. And if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. And that's all.